Yo, collect and connect with Blake and Chad. Chad and Blake. Collect and connect. Blake and Chad's collect and connect. It's Rock English. This is Scat One. Blake and Chad's. This is Blake and Chad's. This is Collect and Connect. Chad's in Canada. You're in Wales, right? And I'm in Florida. So, I mean, look at us connecting now. That's pretty cool. All right. So I declared Claire an OG <laughs> slash master collector in the BB app oh, a long time ago. I could never keep up. She is <laughs> true to the game. Um, you know, she is honest. And I definitely bow my head and tip my hat. How many sets do you got as of today, he said? Okay, because um, I was quite lucky and got um, the ultra rare in the villain set. So as of this precise moment in time, oh, I actually feel quite embarrassed, but I've got 113 sets. Ooh, that's awesome. I, I don't like to brag. You say, it's, kind <laughs> oh, it's of not, that's not bragging. I mean, it's, you got to be proud of that. That's some good collecting. I, I'm excited for when we have like the leaderboards just to see where I fit in because you know I, I've got my sets but I also have items that I don't have which are you know like blue chips so <laughs> just because you got a lot of sets doesn't mean that they're worth a lot. <laughs> no, I, I understand that completely it's a hard <laughs> game it's the hardest game I say we play right now. I know. I, I probably got a few sets because I don't have partners. So, you know, it's kind of like, and I don't have secret there, Spidey. So you sort of, yeah, you have to pick your lane, don't you? <laughs> so. yeah. It's the yin and the yang of the game, you know. But I, I mean, it, it was quite funny because at the end of season two, I was like, right, okay, I am going to not go for every drop now that season three's arrived. I am going to step back and, you know, just keep what I've got. And that's kind of the line in the sand. And then the first drop, the first drop was Harlequin season three, you know, mm -hmm. series two. So it was like, all right, okay, thank you, baby. You've now blown all my plans. I'm now <laughs> going to have to go against my own advice and um, yeah. <laughs> and I know Claire, you talk. love you love you some Harley Quinn. So <laughs> that was your uh, kryptonite right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, they're so She's bad; they know how to play us all. <laughs> they know how to yeah, play us all. So I think you closed everybody. that set that day, didn't you? Probably, yeah, uh, <laughs> more than likely. <laughs> so Claire, when you go into the VV app, what's your go-to item in there? Like when you go in, like, oh, uh, you know, every time I just want to go check it out. And this is, you know, I, I really oh, like as this. In, what do I check the market for? Yeah, well, yeah. not the market, but like your favorite collectible slash, you know, long term. I really like this and I really just want to see where it's going and keep an eye on it. Yeah, I, I, I suppose I've got a thing for Harley Quinn poo obviously because <laughs> so I like to see where she's at and keep an eye on her just because it makes me feel better that I have her sort of thing and I was crying after I bought her so that was kind of like the most surreal moment I've had on the app I think. Well you worked hard to get her I remember it took you a long time to get her and you were just so ecstatic when it was recently too I remember was it well it was a few months ago yeah, it was during the Marvel dip, I call it, because the Marvel dip of August, because everybody had, you know, we had the comics that had just arrived, and, you know, it, it, you know, it was massive, wasn't it, you know, and the hype, and then people were selling their collectibles so they could go <laughs> into Marvel, and I must say, I, I managed to pick up, due to that, Rizzo, and I also got my Harley Quinn, which, you know, I would never have been able to have got if it wasn't for Marvel. So thank you, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Marvel. <laughs> but every time you think you've got what you want, something big comes oh. again every time. And you're like, oh, and I love that 
I'm getting introduced to artists that I would never have, you know, heard about or been able to enjoy their work. So I think that's amazing that we get that experience and how great it is, you know, because when you think, and you'd be fortunate to speak to a lot of the artists as well, but oh, it's, it's just surreal, isn't it? You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, speaking with like Dave Pressler and Ron English and Luke and all these great artists, I mean, just to have them to chat with us for a few moments, let alone an hour sometimes and letting us know or getting involved with them. It's really mind blowing. Um, yeah. It's been very cool. Yeah, it's pretty humbling. Yeah. Well, and you, yeah, and just getting to share that, and like you're saying, getting to experience all these new artists that some, you know, we would never even know of if it wasn't for VV, and then just the connections and whatnot, and like to be able to see all the different stuff that they have out there. It's, you know, it's yeah. been a, lot, a cool journey, definitely. Yeah, I've went and got a skateboard deck from Sket One. You know, yeah. I, I met Ron English in Miami when I. Okay, I got the golden rabbit and that's when he signed my NFT down there. But when I saw him, I went complete FOMO and just bought almost everything in the store. So, you know, like that's what this app has created with me when I'm seeing a physical <laughs> out there. Like if I were to see like any of those little physicals out there, I'd probably instantly buy it because I saw it in the app. Right. I mean, that's what this has done to most of us as a physical. For sure wait a second i saw that in the app up oh, i'm buying it <laughs> so, and that's fun you know that's that's it's creating a whole new generation of collectors i think um, as far as opening this avenue for people but just different type of collecting as well too right like just things you maybe some wouldn't necessarily collect or just to begin collecting in general yeah i can't yeah. Looking at your Batman figures in the background. Why are there <laughs> some that are small and some that are big then, Chad? Sorry. Uh, some of them are like the original pieces, but other ones were just like a little blind box kind of bags that they had for years ago. I don't know. I found them in last summer, probably just in the local comic store because they're from, I think, 2016, the small ones or 17, and they just had a bunch left over. And I went and grabbed one or two and then I ended up going back and getting what they had left. <laughs> was that so was that, Go ahead. So was that because of Evie? Is it because you'd seen him 100%, on the app? Yeah, 100% because <laughs> of Evie. No, I'm going to lie. I did a little bit of collecting before and like the fun goes and that I was kind of grabbed before of Evie, but then I think even when I first started with that, in a sense, it drew me more towards Evie once I first found out about it because a friend of mine had shown me it and I had missed Todd by like a week or two when I started in the store there because he'd show me, he's like, oh, check out this McFarland. I was like, man, that looks pretty cool. I was like, and then, yeah, you know, a week or two later, I decided to join <laughs> and missed out on the Todd, but I got a couple of Batmans. But yeah, it's because of VV that I started grabbing those Batmans, definitely. Do you have any from the series back? I see you got a Clunin, right? Is that Becky? And Yeah, I got a Clunin and a Dick Sprang. I actually do have a dick spraying, so that's why I do cloning's kind of out of my reach right now, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, no, it's just like the airdrops that we got as well. Um, you know, not that I buy just in the hope of getting an airdrop, but it's just so nice that when we do, and I finally pulled the trigger last week and bought my golden yucky. So I now have all of Ron English's pieces along oh, with all of Jermaine. I've got all of Jermaine Rogers' pieces. I absolutely love the choices rabbits the most, but I also love um, Frank Kozik's rabbits. They just make me smile. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Do you think they're going to drop utility behind like the Kozik Labbits? He keeps pushing it. And what do you think, Chad? Think what wants... do you guys think? You think utility's coming? I think in time. It's just what... a matter of time, though, right? Once as things expand. What kind of utility do you think is it going to be? Any well, hopefully, the thing, hopefully the things he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> We're breeding. Exactly. <laughs> Lots of breeding going on there. Oh my gosh. I wonder what that'll bring to the utility. So that's, it's so much fun. You know, we got speculation everywhere. We want speculation behind the golden moments. You know, what kind of utility possibly more can Disney bring? 
Uh, you know, what type of utility can these artists bring? You know, we're involved with Ron English with the Light Cold Crypto Club with those light bulbs he makes. And man, the, he has so much fun utility within his stuff. You know, again, it's a whole new generation of art and how they're displaying their art and getting their art out there or even connecting with us, I think it's pretty cool. You know, it's dope. <laughs> we'll all be competing for the best oh. vault and we haven't done them. <laughs> I think I think there's high tech junkie, uh, definitely at top of the list, and I've seen a few other bolts that are just mind blowing. Like Quill, Quill got some good bolt uh, bolts from yeah. our Canada yeah. chat. People put some good time into these things and, you know, they're in it for the long term and that's the collectors right there. We got to, you know, really represent. I think, I think representing the collectors is where it's at. And that artistic side of them, what they're creating and a lot of them adding music to it, where it's like the music just plays perfectly to the scene that they've created a lot of times. It's just like, you know, it's pretty cool to see. I stopped for a while until Vivi. I started collecting. I'm like, man, I can do this. I made this. I'm like, man, my, my, I used to start flowing as well. It was just, it's a good app. It's a good cre creation of everything, man. It is dope. I love it. So I can't, I'll be here for a while for sure. <laughs> Not going anywhere. <laughs> Not anywhere, man. I mean, I know you guys now and Claire and, all the communities, you know, I mean, how can you not? I mean, the community itself is just, is that. Like you said, the connections that people have made through it in general, because if it wasn't for Vivi, none, none of us three would be talking realistically, yeah. right? Like it's without a doubt. So, yeah. I mean, are you going to, is there a designer con this year in London? <gasps> yeah, I'm so excited because okay. obviously we're going to meet some of the Vivi team, but. You know, it, it's a way for us finally to get to meet each other as well. You know, people that you have been chatting with. And I think there's some people coming in like Greb Flo from LA. And I think Mandy's coming from Canada. And yeah, there's a few people from Europe that are going to travel into London. So it sounds like it's going to be quite a good get that's together. Cool. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Yeah. Family. <laughs> I think family? so. I think so. It, it'll all depend on if they, you know, because teenagers are quite temperamental. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, it'll be yeah. whether or not they can be bothered by the time it oh, comes. Tell me about it. Yeah. When, when is Designer Con then? It's September the is 3rd and 4th, I think. Yeah. So it's beginning yeah. of September. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So, awesome. Yeah. No. but who who's <laughs> gonna be at decon do you know any like uh, maybe david or dan or uh any of their team um, like reese alex, maybe alex um, and reese but we're not quite sure i i think new zealand can be quite funny with traveling still so with the covid restrictions oh, and stuff, oh, yeah. gotcha. we're waiting to see but we're hopeful that we'll get to see David and Dan, but of what I've understood, Alex and Reese will be there. So that'll be exciting because I'm a moderator on the VV Discord. I get, you know, I got to meet Noah and Alex and you get to speak to them because you're part of that team on the Discord. So, you know, it's, it's congratulations. Uh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's real cool. Yeah, that is, definitely. yeah man. Uh, you're not just a moderator there. You're a, a upper ranks moderator. Into oh, Discord, yeah, aren't I, you? I, got, I got promoted <laughs> to see your mod. But, yeah. <laughs> Congrats. That's, that's so cool. <laughs> uh, so you did meet David and Dan, right? Or David, right? Uh, I Well, I, I I was well. I interviewed um, Dan as part of the VVX women. Um, yes. and they're now doing it for themselves and not helping their mum anymore. <laughs> Will there kind of be a sort of provision where I can keep tabs on them in the metaverse so that they're maybe next door to me? Or that what, kind of that was surreal because <laughs> I was too busy listening. I forgot I was actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, he mentioned the master collector program and then i think i just lost it then because i was 
you know, one massive spoiler, but for any spoiler, that that was the one that, you know, that's what I'm waiting for. That that's kind of my <laughs> my one is one. I think most of us are, you know, us true collectors really, really love that aspect. And I don't think I don't think it's a matter of time or anything for either of us. We know if it comes or not, we're going to have our sets or not. We like our collections. And I think that's the bottom line um, that I think these guys are trying to install to most of us. That, hey, enjoy your collections. Do your ARs. Look at your background. That's cool as heck. You know, I mean, yeah, exactly. got to enjoy these features that this stuff wasn't even here two years ago. You know, people didn't even know what this is. And look at us now. We have like Spider-Man in our background. It's so cool. You know, and that's I think we need to enjoy that more. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, it it's what makes VV different in my mind. It's it's kind of you've got the community, which I enjoy being part of. <laughs> and then you've got the app itself. And it's not just about buying and selling it's about enjoying what you've bought and going out and taking pictures and you know I'm walking mountains because of these <laughs> so I wouldn't be doing that otherwise <laughs> <laughs>